In today's video, I want to talk about roads, because yes, they are technically technology, especially in the anarcho-primitivist sense of the word. Now, I must admit, this video's title is a little bit misleading. I don't think that roads are a bad thing, necessarily, and in fact, taken as a whole, I think transport is a good thing that's connected the human race like never before. Which, unlike a lot of anarcho-primitivist thinkers, I actually think is a good thing. If we abolish the roads entirely, we'd be doing humanity a huge disservice. It's more the private ownership of cars and other forms of transport that I take issue with. So when I say that the roads are bad, what I really mean is that roads as they exist and are used today are bad. If everyone got around via public transport, I would think that we've succeeded as a society and I wouldn't be making this video. But here I am. So today, let's discuss my problems with the roads. Put simply, I have three main problems with the roads. First, they're disruptive to pedestrians. Secondly, they cause significant environmental damage. And finally, they cause society to become structured in an often undesirable way, and in a way that marginalises the poor and underprivileged. Now, naturally, all of these points intersect, but I want to try and tackle them one by one, as much as is reasonably possible. My first point is that roads are generally disruptive to pedestrians. The world just isn't structured for people who want to walk from point A to point B. You'll have to struggle to find a place to cross roads, go around busier roads, and run the risk of injury if you get hit by a car. Not to mention the possible long-term effects of you walking along the pavement next to a road inhaling car fumes. But what's worse than that is that many places just aren't accessible on foot, or if they are, it can be difficult. The fact that there are some roads without a pavement on the side of them is just ludicrous to me. So if you want to get from point A to point B, you better own a car. The next problem that I have with roads and cars is that they cause massive amounts of environmental damage. This one doesn't really need explaining. Cars are massive contributors to global warming, which is something that will eventually result in the end of the human race, I might add, making any convenience offered by cars immediately irrelevant. What's more is that the huge amounts of space required for roads result in further destruction of the environment, if everyone were to just use public transport, there wouldn't be nearly as much CO2 emitted, and we could potentially even make the roads smaller. So, why exactly is private transport still a thing? Another problem that I have with the roads is that they cause society to be structured in an undesirable way. Technology isn't universally good or bad, but every new technology has consequences and the consequence of the car is that it necessitates its own ownership. Everything that the average person needs to get to is placed further and further out of walking distance. Some people can't even walk to the shop to do something as basic as pick up groceries anymore, so instead they have to hop into their car and spew poisons everywhere, even to perform such a basic task. In an ideal world, everything that a person needs would be within walking distance, and public transport would be used in instances where that just isn't the case. Cars also have a tendency to destroy local communities, since people don't tend to stick around in the area where they live, or work with local people together as a community. Now, this is something of a double-edged sword, because although having a local community working and living together is a good thing, as it's highly efficient and ensures that people have significant social interaction, it can become a problem when it means that marginalised people can't find others who are like them. So, you'll have to make up your own mind about this point. Finally, I want to talk about how cars further marginalise the disadvantage. Owning a car is not only a necessity in the modern world, but also incredibly expensive, especially with rising fuel prices. For a lot of people, it just isn't viable for them to own one. Or, if it is, it would come with some pretty hefty sacrifices. Consequently, this means that people who cannot afford a car are excluded from modern society, and will struggle to afford a car since they can't commute to higher paying jobs that might enable them to afford a car, thus continuing this cycle of marginalisation. With all that said though, 
Those are my reasons for disliking Rhodes. If you want to know where I got these ideas from, take a look at Cal Newport's book, Digital Minimalism. It's not specifically about the Rhodes, and frankly, it's probably not the best resource for this subject, but in this book, he does cover the idea of all technology having consequences, and that it should therefore be used in a responsible manner. So basically, if you found this video interesting, you'll probably also enjoy digital minimalism. But with that said though, that's it for today's video. I thank you for watching it, and as always, I will see you in the next one.